Giving details on the most recent tourism projections during the final quarterly media briefing for the year, BHTA chairman Rene Coppin told those gathered at the courtyard by Marriott, bookings are looking strong for the winter tourist season from November through to February. The numbers being reported are promising, particularly for this month of November, which has already outpaced November 2019. If we continue to see good booking pace, we may outdo last year's performance also in January and February. However, her concern is with the occupancy rate forecasts going into March and April, a situation which she describes as a worrying slowdown in pace, which the BHTA will closely monitor. So the projections are as follows. November 2022, 75%. December, 67%. January 2023, 66%. February, 72%. March, 55%. And April, 37%. Now, projections for summer 2023 are also not looking too encouraging, as airlift into Barbados in the summer months is set to take a nosedive. Unfortunately, we are again facing a summer 2023 that looks like it will closely mirror summer 2022. This summer, we reported that one of our major concerns was that of the reduction of airlift into this island relative to our 2019 levels. Between June and October 2022, that reduction represented just over 58% in flights and 62% less seats to this destination. This has been in no small part responsible for our fall off in visitor arrivals, which year to date, September, and according to the Barbados Statistical Service, stood at 303,394 visitors compared to 520,881 in the same period of 20 for 2019. It's a situation which the BHTA chairman says will see small hotels on the island hardest hit. Ms. Coppin says she's looking forward to working with the new tourism minister, Ian gooding Edgel and his team to address the airlift shortfall and other issues set to plague the industry. Shane Seeley, CBC News.